Are you ready for the first thrifting adventure of the year? Well, so am I. Let's pile in Debbie's van and let's hit the road. We're heading to a new place, Livingston Antique Outlet, but not before we hit a few thrift stores. And when I say a few, I mean three or four. Oh, the stuff we found today. I could barely get it all in my car. This is just one of the baskets I filled. So if you're ready for a good adventure, let's dive into 2024. Before we get started, for those of you who are new here to Flea Market Rescue, I just want to welcome you. My name's Kelly Sherry. I do thrift store makeovers with my funny pal, Jenny. Uh -huh. I also love taking you along as we go to the thrift stores, the garage sales, and the flea markets. So if you're up for some fun DIY projects and great shopping sprees, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. That way you'll get notified every time I post a new video. All right, you guys, can you believe it? I woke up late for our thrifting adventure. Yes, I did. So I was late getting to Debbie's house. All right, you guys, I am on my way to Debbie's, but I am running late here. I'm like, do, 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 do. And uh, hope she's not too mad. Good morning. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm running late. Yeah, gonna have a pack of cigarettes. Let's go get the band back together. <laughs> Let's do it, Deb. Oh, she wasn't mad at all. She was just excited to get going thrifting. I can't blame her. I'm excited too. Let's do this, you guys. About a week and a half before Christmas, I had a customer come in. She's actually been to a few of my open houses along with her husband. They're super sweet. Anyway, she was kind of telling me the places she wanted to go. And she was mentioning to me about this Livingston Antique Outlet. She said there was over 200 vendors. And I was like, that sounds pretty good. So I asked Debbie if she wanted to go. And Debbie said, sure. So that's where we're headed. Now you know us. We're going to stop at every thrift store along the way. And the first place that we came across on our way to Livingston Antique Outlet was the Salvation Army in Highland. So on our way to where we're going, we stumbled across Highland, which you guys remember. I went. I found so much stuff here that day. It was crazy. One, two, it's a hidden gem. I can't wait to see what's in there. And, and uh, I've never been here before. Debbie's gonna love it. They have so many great things here. Like I said, this place is a hidden gem. Oh, these candlesticks are royal. Will you guys look how ornate these are? Wow. All right, so it looks like they're $14.99 for two of them. And that's only $7.50 for each of them, which I don't think is a bad price considering, look at these, they're gorgeous. Oh, wow, will you look at that? The original price was $33.99 and that was for one of them. I think that is a love sign back there. That might be good for the display window in my store. I just don't know if it would be a good seller or would it just be a window display. Well, this is kind of cool and Easter is coming up. I noticed it had the ladle inside, so I might get this. And just so you know, we picked a date for the spring open house. It's going to be on March 23rd, which is a Saturday. Easter is early this year, so that is the week just before Easter. Make sure to mark that in your calendar, and we hope to see you there. So yeah, I think I'm going to get this here. Oh, oh that is really nice. They have some cool stuff here, don't they? They do. Look at this. That would be a good seller. Which is it? Oh yeah, that's a cool heart. I really love this pedestal tray. I need to get a better look at it though. I need to get all the stuff off of it. $6.99, that's not bad at all. That's so cute. A little cheat kill. Yeah. I love it. This owl is super cute. But he's a bank, so like I usually do not get them if they're a bank. 
but that's okay because I spy chicken back there. For $5.99, I think I'm going to have to get them. Oh, aren't you a little cutie patootie? I'm going to take a look at this. I spied this a few minutes ago. Boy, it is $9.99. That's a little too much. It's cute, though. I remember seeing these last time I was here. I think they're still here because they do not have lids to them. However, you could put plants in them, and that probably would be pretty cute, but I don't know. That F is pretty neat. I like the metal. I like the chicken wire. Oh, what do we got here? This looks like a cool clock. Yeah, this is definitely going in my basket. Now, I had liked this up until I pulled it out. It really looked fake. I mean, fake. I know it's only $2.99, but I really try to keep my plants looking really realistic. I think this is a really cool lamp. This looks like a really vintage kind of milk can. And then a few minutes later, Debbie goes, hey, I want to show you this lamp I like. So Debbie liked it too. Now, neither one of us ended up getting it, but it definitely was a thought. Just the other week, I picked up a metal vase just like this. Now, I would get rid of whatever's in there and replace it with something that looks natural, like wheat or, you know, those pussy willows. I think that would look really good in there. But yeah, that's a nice face. That's interesting. I found a couple little things. That's it. That's it, huh? Well, I just started, so. Okay. Don't worry, Deb, I'm making up for both of us. Look at all this Christmas, you guys. Aren't they so cute? I love them. They remind me of like, you know, when kids do the little Indian chief yes, type thing? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's what it reminds me of. I like love the them. petals on them. The only place I've had to put them is on my front porch and I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, Debbie, that is so you. Do you think it's too much? Not at all. Like, I could wear Kroger's. I think so. Yes. <laughs> She's so crazy. That's why we love her. This is a beautiful table bench. I like the Paris on it, but wait a minute. I like the topiary more. All right, this is $24.99. I totally get it. It's more on the higher side, but you definitely could make money on this. You could charge anywhere from like 45 up to, I would say $54 and you would sell it. So for that reason, we're gonna get it. It's a large plant, it makes a statement and the greenery is really good on it. Remember what I told you about black and white linens and throws and things like that? They're definitely a seller. Now, I don't particularly like this one because in the middle, it looks like they cut out a bath mat and I just, I don't know what that is. So for that reason, I'm not gonna get this. But what I am going to get is this Beyond Blessed pillow. Love, love, love it. And staying within that black and white theme, I love this print on this pillow. So I'm going to get this too. It reminds me of like a geometry print and it's only $4.99. So we're putting it in the basket. I love this black and white striped pillow too. We're going to add this to our collection. Oh, that's cute how it's knit like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. $14.99 for this old chair. That's a decent price. At flea markets, you can probably pick it up for $10, but $14.99 still a good price. And I also like this other chair. It reminds me of a draftman's type chair. 
Now I love buying little chairs because you can put plants on them and they just really make a nice display. This one's $6.99, which I feel like is a little more on the high side. I probably would want to pay $4.99 for it. And because I'm not completely in love with it, I'm going to pass on this one. I just like to say old books really can add to your display because you can put stuff on top and you can add greenery on the side like they did here and the books just kind of act like a riser. They give you some height and it just makes the display stand out. You know, I don't know if I really like these circle kind of greeneries. I've seen them in hearts. I'm not really a big fan. I do like greenery, but I like it to be just a full plant. I'm just gonna eyeball these books again. Can't you just see them on a bookshelf laying flat with something on top, something next to it? Yep, I think it would look great. You know what's weird? I bought these birds at a garage sale, and before I had bought those, I had never seen them anywhere. Well, these have since sold, but now I'm starting to see them in white everywhere. We just saw them at Relics the other week, and now look who's here. Whenever I buy chicken or rooster stuff, it goes pretty quickly. Now this I'm not quite sure about, and at $4.99, I think I'm going to have to pass. I probably would want to pay $2.99 for this. This basket's really cool. I can see it mounted underneath a window and you could have flowers in there. It's really cool. These look so industrial to put like on your desk, but where's two? I'm only seeing one and three, so I don't know. We're gonna pass on this, I think. I really like them though, they have the right look. These candlesticks have a nice look to them. Two for $10.99, I don't think that's too bad. That's only, you know, $5.50 each. That's, that's decent. I'm thinking spring here, you guys. I'm, I'm loving that blue. I might have to get this one. Oh, this Blue Jay's foot's broken. Oh, $2.99, it's going in my basket, you guys. Boy, this whole end shelf makes me think spring. I like these hydrangeas. I just might need to get them. All right, let's look at this tobacco basket. Actually, I like the fern. It's like a fern wreath. I have to take a better look at this. I like it. It has that spring fill to it too. This is really cute. I love that it's white, it's clean, it's classic, and uh, it's a nice can. This is kind of cute too, this little honey pot. The only thing it's missing is a stir, but I'm pretty sure that you could pick one up pretty easily. I'm just checking out their white pieces because if I see a white pitcher, I'm definitely gonna get it. Nope, not today. It's not on the cards. Now I'm liking the look of this. Let me just take it down. See, I don't like the inside of this and I'd have to paint it and I don't want to have to do that. So I'm going to pass on this one. It has quite an interesting look though. Oh, just check out this frame, you guys. Very ornate. Oh, $29.99. I will not be getting this. So as I was looking at this frame, I ended up running into someone who watches Flea Market Rescue. Her name's Sue, and she gave Debbie and I some tips on where to go, like some good stores. So you know we're going to be hitting those. So after we got done talking to Sue, we just took a quick look around just to see if there was anything else that we had to have. I came across these books. Look, it has two price tags. One's $7.99, one's $2.99. They actually gave it to me for $2.99, though. Debbie, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. It's like very realistic. This is kind of cute. It could be used as a riser. You know what though? I have enough in my basket. You guys look at this. It is time to check out, folks. Wow, I really found some great stuff here today. And with that, we checked out and we were back on the road again. The next thrift store we went to was the Salvation Army in Brighton. So we're gonna check this one out. Never been here to the Salvation Army. 
Ready, Deb? This was just happenstance. We weren't looking for this. I know. I like this owl. Oh, darn, it's another piggy bank. I love this for some reason. It just has that real natural element to it. It would be great for fall. Love it. I'm gonna have to get it. Oh, now this is a tobacco basket. It even has a shelf in it. I really love this. And this is only $7.99, you guys. Now, I hate these pink flowers in there, and that is the first thing that's going to go if I get this. Oh, ho, ho, this is right up my alley. Look at the distressing of this. Love it. And at $5.99, you can't go wrong. I might need to get this coffee container, too. Yeah, I like it. This artichoke has a really nice look to it. I love the little cracked pieces, and I also like the distressing in it. Oh my gosh, my Pyrex people, look at this. Now, I'm not sure if this is a really good price, but I just wanted to show you it. I have to say, I really like that folk art looking pattern. Now, I need another piece of Christmas, like I need a hole in my head, but oh my gosh, this house is just so charming. I totally could see that set up on an entryway table. They had a whole Christmas village here. I saw that in someone's basket when I was checking out. All right, I really do not need to look here. These are kind of cute though. Wow, two for $1.99, that's crazy cheap. Now, I love this, but what I don't love is that wire that goes all the way around. That's the first thing that's going to get ripped off. Sometimes simplicity is best. Now, here's some stuff I could use. Bunnies. Paper mache bunnies. We could put dictionary paper on them. We could moss them up. Yeah, the possibilities, they're there. Hey, Judge you. Judy. I want you to start calling me Judy now. <laughs> Debbie, what are you going to do And with I'll that? take care of all the business in the store. Oh no, Debbie, you might want to put that down. You know what I'm going for, don't you? Yep, that and sign. Wow, this thing is heavy. Not as heavy as Debbie's gavel, but you know, it's heavy. I really like the look of wood and metal together. It just has a really good look to it. Holy moly, I want this fall sign. This has a great look too. Just look at it, you guys. $5.99, it's a no-brainer. It's going in the basket. Yep, I'm loving this. This would make a really nice charcuterie board. You'd have to clean it up a bit. Maybe you could sand it and then, you know, just wash it up with some lemon and salt. Jenny's mom made a really nice charcuterie board for our Christmas party, and it just worked out so nice. So I just want to say a special thank you to Patty for that. And then, of course, I had to copy her idea for New Year's. So in addition to my vegetable tray, I had a charcuterie board, too. See what you started, Patty? Oh, look what I just stumbled on, you guys. Ray Dunn. Oh, my gosh. Four for $3.99? Wow. It's the cheapest I've ever seen Ray Dawn anywhere. Oh, I want to get these spooky plates. They're only $2.99 for all four of them. Okay, I think I'm going to get a few mugs and these spooky plates. I probably would have gotten this, but I don't like how the tea looks. It looks like there's something missing from it. Wow, these are heavy. Now, I don't particularly like the finish on these. I probably would paint them if I get them 
but I don't know. I have to think about it. Oh my gosh, you guys, I managed to do it again. Another full basket. I'm not going to have any money by the time I get to Livingston Antique Outlet. I would have to say that the Brighton Salvation Army was a good one too. Anyway, after checking out with this big basket, we got back on the road heading to our destination when we came across this resale shop. I found this little clock for $10. Then I came across this farmhouse metal candle holder. It was only $6, so I thought, you know what, why not? Then I came across this really cool candle holder. It's really unusual, and there actually was another one. I purchased both of them for $5 each. Debbie ended up finding a couple little items there too. And after we paid for our stuff, we got back on the road because it was starting to get late. It was already four o'clock and they close at six. So we really needed to get to Livingston Antique Outlet if we were ever gonna get there today. We are here. I wanna see what this place is all about. So far it looks good. Wow, just look at that hutch. That is really nice. I like these antique hutches like that. They just have so much character. Now, I really love those wooden trees, especially that white one back there. But for $12.99, I think that's a little bit high. Oh, are these sheep? How stinking cute. Well, I don't particularly like the red nose on it. it kind of reminds me of a reindeer. I know. One's not for sale. Another one that looks like one. One eleven. Yeah, they're gorgeous, though, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, these are bookends. I love these. If I can just find out how much they are. Twenty-eight dollars. But you know what? This booth, it actually has 50% off. So that would only make it $14. We're gonna have to get them. Now this is really cute. I like this. Only $4 and half off. It's $2. I mean, I have to get this. 20. So that'd make them $10. Yeah. That's worth it all day long. Oh, so this $9 and it's only $4.50. That is so worth it. That's beautiful. It matches the other one you've got. I love it. This birdcage is $15, which would make it $7.50. Are you kidding me? That's great. Cool. How much is that? 20, so it'd be 10. 10 bucks. It's hard to buy these square ones. Yeah. I like the statue. I actually had the statue, didn't I? Didn't I buy that one? You do. No, I did. I sold it. You guys remember when I picked that up at a garage sale? I bought it for $20. What did you? Oh, I like when they do that. I love these silver urn type buckets. And when they put like a tree during Christmas, it just looks so elegant. Yeah, that looks real ritzy. Oil. It's an oil? Yeah. Yeah, I love how they have the number on it. That's that would cool. be really cool with a little Christmas tree in it. Yeah, that is a cool bucket. Hey, and you could stencil a number on like yep. you did, right? Yep. Well, we didn't do it. They did it. <laughs> I love this tree. I wish that was on sale. I told Debbie to check and see what these green ray balls were going for. 
She told me this one here was $12.95, so I will not be getting any of these. When she picked up this old watering can, it kind of reminded me of that oil can that had the number on it. We could definitely do something like that. But I think this was a little more than what we wanted to spend, so we put it back. And it had a dent, too. Look at this metal basket. I'm in love with that. I think it was like $68, so I had to pass. Now this is a really good price for this pillar. That's a great way to display this vase. Put some like twisted branches in there, some torn old vintage book paper. I really like that. Anytime I find a vintage black kind of suitcase like this, I pick it up if it's not too much money. They just really look good when you're displaying things. Now this one's $14. I think this is a good price. Usually when you go to the flea market, you probably can pick them up for about $10, but $14 is still in a good range. And because of that, we are going to get this. I love this frame and it's only $10 and then that candle holder next to it that's $6 really like both of these yes. yeah, right there. Where? in between right there. Oh. Yeah. 35 35 huh? oh my gosh these are so stinking cute <laughs> <laughs> that's clever isn't it uh -huh. look at that with shower curtain rings They're clever. Yeah, how much is that? Ten. That's not bad, $10. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Wow, I could see this hanging as a light fixture, some kind of decorative piece in a store. Debbie told me it's like a tree collar. However, you could really use it for either or. Yeah, I really like that. My mom has this exact little bed on top of her armoire in her bedroom. This one, however, is not for sale. $8 isn't too bad on that. I love this clock, but at $21 for resale purposes, I wouldn't be able to make any money on this. This is gorgeous. Oh, 175. No, I can't get this. Now, although some things are more expensive than others, I find that you can find a lot of inspiration with looking at some of these pieces. Take this one, for instance. I love what she did here. This lantern with the Santa, the whole winter scene. Love it. She nailed it. I love this cake stand. I love the look of it. Too bad it's not for sale. How much is that? 55. You like these though? I like these flowers. They're cool. I almost bought these, but I had stuff in my hand and I didn't want to carry it up to the front. I think $25 for this pair was not bad, especially for something that's actually vintage and has a lot of character to it. I'm sort of regretting not getting them because they would have looked really nice in the shop. Yeah, $14.95, that's not bad. No, I don't think so. This is really cool, $95, but I, I'm sure it's worth it. Actually, I looked over and I saw that this whole booth was 40% off. So, you know, that's not bad. And they also had IOD molds too.
See, 40% off, you guys. I love these molds. Love, love, love them. Yeah, it's really cool. What is it? Yes. Oh, that is cool. I like how they put that in there. That one's $89, right? Now, this booth was not on sale, but I like what they did here. And like I said, you can get inspiration from things like that. You know how I am with dress forms. I'm like a moth to the flame. That and the wood aisle in a thrift store. I'm definitely drawn to both. Now this one was unusual, but I didn't really care for the collar on the top. So for that reason, I didn't get it. I really love these triangular trees that are made out of doors. I had actually bought a small one that was across from us at the vintage market. It was for $20 and I just kept looking at it all day. And so at the end of the day, I ended up buying it. Oh my gosh, this guy has every piece of hardware ever. My I know he has every kind of... I just want to show you guys something. Look at this. $49.99 for this beautiful cabinet. There's more. This dress right here. Look at this. $49.95. Debbie, did you see the prices of this furniture? Yeah. Look at this. $59. Oh my god. Are you beautiful. kidding me? $59? It's gorgeous. Look at this one here. This one is $39. I had to look at that again. Wow. Now, I can't believe how inexpensive this furniture is. I had to take a double take because I couldn't believe what I was seeing. What a fabulous price. Unbelievable. That's gorgeous, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Pops and stuff. Yeah, that's unusual, huh? I've never seen it like that. Oh my, look at his face. Now he is very unusual. He doesn't have the normal face. Look at the round cheeks, so cute. Well, my mom wouldn't think so, but I do. Now, as I was walking to check out, I noticed that they have fusion paint here. So that's something you could pick up, especially if you're buying some of that furniture I just showed you. They seem to have a pretty big selection. So what did I think about Livingston Antique Outlet? Well, just like anything else, you have to just kind of look through there. Some things are priced higher than others, but from those you can get inspiration. And then there were those booths that had the 40, the 50% off that I showed you, and you could get some really good deals. So you just really have to look through there. All in all, Debbie and I had fun, and I did come home with some really nice stuff from there. Now on the way home, you know we had to hit another thrift store. Debbie and I are diehards. Our next stop was the Salvation Army in White Lake. Abby. How much are they though? $7.99. You know I could sell this. So I ended up buying the bigger one for $7.99 and the smaller one for $6.99. I'm thinking I can flip the large one for $18 and the smaller one for $16. Let me get a close-up of that. It is so cute. <gasps> he's adorable. He's only $2.99. Uh -huh. I love the look of him. This pig reminds me of when we were doing the vintage market and they had those tin snowmen and Santas across from us. These were made out of recycled tin and this is what the pig appears to be because on the back there's the same kind of print on there. And those Santas and snowmen went for $34, I think. So this pig should really be about $12.95. See the back? It really looks like that recycled tin. I'm really loving this white distress pail. It's only $5.99 and it has a really good look. 
This is a really great metal caddy. I think I'm gonna have to get this too. Yeah, at $5.99, that's a great price. What do we have here? It looks like a nice shelf. I love the color, it's like an olive green. This is $8.99, so that's not too bad. I like that. Isn't it cute? Yeah. I would love to do a whole faux wall. I think that would look so cool. They only have one of these, but I think this would probably be good to use in a display, so I, I'm probably gonna get this. I thought this was gonna be a cool butter dish till I saw this. What is that on top? I have no clue. Now these wouldn't be half bad to have, especially if you're moving furniture around by yourself. I thought this was pretty cool, but then the more I looked at it, I was like, eh, I don't know. So I just kind of passed on this one. How sweet, look at this little bunny, you guys. I've actually sold quite a few pairs that look similar to this. This looks like a great yarn to make some of those sheep that we did in that Trash to Treasure. I had more comments on the sheep. Everybody wanted to buy it. If you haven't had a chance to see that video, I'll leave a link in the description below for you. And next week, stay tuned for a brand new Trash to Treasure episode. We have a lot of great projects in store for you. Yeah, this is a really nice wool. I really like this. Off of it. <laughs> it's cruising. It had a really cute gold little... What, what happened to the knob? Is that... It's on the floor somewhere. <laughs> well, you guys, yet another basket. We need to get out of here, and I need to go home. So after we checked out, we ended up leaving, and once you know it, five minutes down the road, we saw another thrift store. We did stop, but we really didn't find much. I just had to take a look and see how much this dresser was going for. So this one, they wanted $119.99. But remember how cheap they were at Livingston Antique Outlet? This. $49.99. Just check out this French provisional dresser they had there with the mirror. $119, that's not a bad price. Look at this huge wooden bucket. I've come across smaller ones, but not a large one like this. I think they call it Firkin. This one's $69.95, so I would never get this one. Although I know people really like them and they're highly collectible. And the only other thing that I came across was this cute bunny. I thought it was pretty cute for Easter. But like I said, we really didn't find much here. Thank God, I think I found enough stuff today. All right, you guys, I am really going home. That's it. I don't even know how I'm going to get all this stuff in my car. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode of Flea Market Rescue. I hope you enjoyed our shopping trip together. And if you like this video and you want to see more, make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell. I'm Kelly Sherry, and this has been Flea Market Rescue.